On a Monday, we're following up after another violent weekend in Louisville. Police called to five separate shootings. You see them on our map. They killed four people and injured two others, and they happened all over the city. Three in West Louisville, one downtown, and one late last night in South Louisville. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Doug Prophet. The homicide rate is in our city staggering this year. At least 42 killings in these first 80 day days of 2021. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir claiming the issue stems from a very small, violent, small group of people. Chris Williams is joining us right now from the Capitol with the governor's response to his questions today. Friday, you heard the chief of surgery at UofL Hospital's emergency room explain that at one point recently they had more gunshot wound victims, 25, than they had COVID-19 patients. Today, Governor Bashir took time to celebrate federal grant money for Eastern Kentucky communities and afterwards, I asked him about Louisville's alarming rate of killings. Have you been contacted at all about Louisville? Have you been keeping your finger on the pulse of that? And, and what can you do as governor to try to uh, stem the violence that we've seen in Louisville this year? Well, the violence we've seen in, in Louisville is, has been heartbreaking, and it, and it comes on top of a pandemic where there is already so much loss. I know that there are task forces that are hard at work. I know that there are community leaders that are out there trying to provide different and better opportunities. And I think it's going to take everybody, everybody at the table from those in law enforcement to uh, those community leaders that don't want to see uh, more kids falling through the cracks. I think what we're seeing is uh, smaller groups of individuals in engaging in higher levels of violence than we have in a period of time, and it's going to take a concerted effort to, uh, to lessen that violence. And that's a mix of enforcement, but also hope and opportunity. Christopher 2X and Game Changers is pushing for schools to take up their findings on helping children impacted by violence. You can find our report on their efforts right now at whas11.com. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.